Hello and good evening everyone. Hard Drive here, Fine Tune CB. Just like everybody else, I have to conduct maintenance myself too. I had to change this, put a new end on, redo the wire, retune the bench. And uh, I figured, well, you know what? While it's all set up and it's done, I figured I'd show you. I was about an ohm or two off anyway. I'm about an ohm, so it was, I was due. So anyways, let's reboot this thing and get you in here. It's extremely important that you know how critical this actually is. It's how your radio is tuned. It'd be like misjetting your carburetor. You're going to burn it up or it ain't going to run right, get terrible fuel mileage, overheat, you know, splash the cylinder wall. So anyways, this is different. For instance, uh, you know, if you try to do Ohm's Law or Power, and I'll include a couple videos at the end of this video. AC volt squared divided by the load, that's the load. For instance, if it was a 50 watt radio PEP, divide that by 2. You know, for peak, because you multiply peak times angular degrees of 0.707. That gives you your effective, you know, watts. But if you can't see everything, everything right on the money, certification, calibration, you'd be all just a bunch of mumbo jumbo. You know, this, these are the facts. You don't want no mumbo jumbo. So let's fire this thing off and then fire it back up. See it? That's the analyzer. This one I bought when I was down there in Florida to set this bench up. And uh, the antenna's up on the roof. It's been outside a couple of times. Only my hands have been on it. That's it. <laughs> Is that, everything's at temperature. We're in the shop. It took a little while. It's a lot of work getting this done. But here, I'll show you. Yes, I always tune right in the middle of the band. And uh, we could uh, turn that one off too. No hocus pocus. Kind of cool, huh? You should start demanding. If you have your own favorite radio guy, demand they show you the certification, calibration, and uh, the analyzer. A, a decent analyzer hooked up to their entire system. And their antenna system also. I'll get to that here shortly. Right, so this is produced in a, a, a perfect wave. All right? That's at 1 megahertz. Let me go to 30 kilohertz so you can see it. It's, it's doing a great job. Everything's followed and the specs looks perfect. So let's go back to 1 megahertz again. That'll be 1 megahertz from side to side. And you'll see we'll turn up the frequency a little bit. Almost up to 40 and almost down to 1. So we're right in the middle and perfect. All right? Now when it comes to antennas, can I make my antenna system perfect? Yes. It can use another tune. But I do like it slightly out. Because uh, very few people are ever going to experience anything like this. But it is the procedure and the most, more, most precise thing to do to tune your transceiver receiver on a bench like this to get your maximum efficiency, effectiveness, power, you know, it's the, it's the way to do it. Okay, so let's take a look at the antenna. All right. Off slightly, a little bit, but I could, you know, change frequency and go up and down in the impedance slightly to check to see if the amplifier will be stable or not stable. Normally it's right on channel 20. So it's actually quite handy. If it won't be, remain stable at that impedance, and you see how the bench is tuned, rock solid, then there's going to be an issue, input tune, output tune, you know, a, a lot of various scenarios can be wrong with the radio and or amplifier or combination. Okay? So make sure that you can see this. Now I'm not saying not everybody can tune, you know, work on your radio. You know, meter lights, changing PLLs, you know, the typical, you know, service manual tune-up. They get them in the ballpark. They work, you know, that type of tune. But when you really want, you know, that maximum range, bar none, no screwing around, get your money's worth, this is what everything looks like. I hope some of this was informative. Stay tuned in. You know who it is, 163, down by the Rio Grande. We're out of here, click, click.
I can find that button.